let's begin we'll start from a standing position legs hip width apart palms behind the hips elbows pointed towards the back let's start this spinal movement by slightly bending the knees moving the hip forward lifting the chest up and arching back exhale slide the hands down grip the back of your ankles pull the head towards the knees inhale slide the hands up moving the hip forward arch back if you're just joining us exhale we are doing spinal movements along with the breath two inhale arch back exhale bend forward three inhale arch back exhale down four two more inhale arch back going a little more deeper every time using the support of the palms exhale bend forward using the grip to bend even more deeper last one inhale arch back to the maximum that your body allows you exhale bend forward really using that grip inhale come back to the center take a slightly more wider stance as wide as your shoulder palms on the hips inhale lift the left hand up exhale lateral bend keeping this left hand straight fingers active inhale come back to the center exhale lateral bend towards the left side keeping the right hand active inhale as you come up change your hand exhale turn towards the right side inhale exhale lateral bend towards the left side good inhale exhale right inhale exhale left inhale center exhale right inhale graceful movements exhale down moving with your own breath exhale being conscious of every movement that the body is going through last one exhale right inhale center exhale left inhale come back to the center interlock your fingers behind the head now we are going to do two movements in one breath okay just watch what i'm doing inhale squat and exhale twist towards the right and left okay now let's do 10 together inhale squat exhale twist towards your right and then towards the left good this is one inhale squat exhale twist good two inhale squat exhale twist three inhale squat exhale twist good four inhale squat exhale twist five inhale squat move with your own breath exhale twist if you're just joining us we are doing warm up inhale squat exhale twist two more inhale squat exhale twist last one inhale squat and exhale twist come back to the center interlock the fingers press the palms up towards the ceiling walk the legs closer as close as you can and as you inhale slowly raise the heels up and as you exhale slowly lower the heels down one inhale raise the heels up exhale slowly lower the heels down two inhale up exhale down three inhale exhale down four last one inhale up and this time hold it with the heels off the mat five four three two let the heels remain off the mat slowly start lowering your hips down keeping the heels off and come to like a chair position utkatasana and the hands are still interlocked five good four very nice guys Three, two, and one. Inhale, come back to the center, and slowly release the heels down. 
and slowly release the hands. Good. With these movements, the body has warmed up. Let's start with six rounds of Shivananda Surya Namaskara, starting with a medium pace and then slowly increasing the pace. Feet together. Inhale and roll the shoulders back. Exhale, bring the palms together and Namaskara. Inhale, raise the hands up, moving the hip forward, arch back. Exhale, reach towards the front and press the palms down. Inhale, take the right leg back to a wide stance and let's all keep the knee off the mat in this variation, keeping the right leg straight. Hold the breath, lift and take the left leg back slowly with control. Slowly lower the knees down and slowly lower the chest down with control. Good. Inhale, slide the body forward. And in this variation, let's all straighten the hands, roll the shoulders back and come up like upward facing dog fully looking up towards the ceiling. Yes. Exhale, tuck your toes and lift the hips up, pressing the heels down. Inhale, bring the right leg forward. Gently stepping it with control while the left knee stays off the mat. Good. Exhale, left leg forward next to your right leg. Finish the forward bend. Inhale, reach towards the front. Move the hip forward and arch back. Exhale, bring the palms together in Namaskara. Inhale, release the hands. Samastitihi. Exhale, palms together in Namaskara. Inhale, arms up, arch back, hasta uttana. Exhale, going down to pada hasta. Inhale, left leg back, ashva sanchalana. Hold the breath, right leg back, dandasana. Exhale, ashtanga namaskara. Inhale, bujangasana, but we are doing urdhvamukha. Good. Exhale, parvatasana. Radhika, your screen is frozen. Inhale, left leg forward, Ashva Sanchalana. Exhale, right leg forward, Pada Hasta. Inhale, arms up, arch back, Hasta Uttana. Exhale, Namaskara. Inhale, release the hand, Samastitihi. Exhale, Namaskara. Second round now. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, down. Inhale, right leg back, little more slower, Sarita. Hold the breath, left leg back. Exhale, slowly lower the knees, chest and chin down with control. Good. Inhale, slide and lift the chest up. Exhale, tuck the toes and lift the hips up. Inhale, bring the right leg forward with control. Exhale, step the left leg forward. Inhale, reach towards the front and arch back. Exhale, palms together in Namaskara. Inhale, release the hands, Samastitihi. Exhale, Namaskara. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, down. Inhale, left leg back. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide and lift the chest up. Exhale, lift the hips up. Inhale, bring the left leg forward. Exhale, bring the right leg forward. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Now you can join us, Radhika. Exhale, Namaskara. We are doing third round. Exhale, palms together. Namaskara for the third round. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, down. Inhale, right. Retain left. Exhale down. Inhale, slide and chest. Exhale, hips. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, left leg. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, Namaskara. Inhale, Samastitihi. Exhale, Namaskara. Inhale, Hasta Uttana. Exhale, Pada Hasta. Inhale, left Ashwa. Retain Danda. Exhale, Ashtanga. Inhale, Bujanga. Exhale, Parvata. Inhale, left leg Ashwa. 
एक्सहेल राइट लेग पाद हस्त इनहेल हस्त उत्थान एक्सहेल नमस्कार इनहेल समस्थिति फोर्थ राउंड एक्सहेल नाउ ऑल ऑफ यू नो वॉट टू डू इनहेल ट्राई टू सिंक एवरी मूवमेंट विथ द ब्रेथ एक्सहेल इनहेल राइट रिटेन एक्सहेल इनहेल एक्सहेल इनहेल राइट एक्सहेल इनहेल आच बैक एक्सहेल नमस्कार इनहेल रिलीज द हैंड्स एक्सहेल नमस्कार इनहेल आच बैक एक्सहेल डाउन इनहेल लेफ्ट रिटेन गुड एक्सहेल बींग माइंडफुल ऑफ एवरी मूवमेंट इनहेल एक्सहेल इनहेल लेफ्ट लेग दिस टाइम एक्सहेल इनहेल आच बैक एक्सहेल नमस्कार इनहेल रिलीज समस्थिति एंड स्टे एवरीबडी स्टे इन समस्थिति एंड लेट्स ऑल टेक थ्री डीप ब्रेथ बिफोर वी कंटिन्यू इनहेल डीपली सो दैट वी कैन डू टू मोर राउंड वेरी स्लोली एक्सहेल कंप्लीट वन इनहेल कंट्रोल द एयर एज इट गोज इन फिल्स योर लंग्स to the maximum capacity and control the air as it slowly goes out until your lungs are completely empty one last deep inhale and slow exhale inhale roll the shoulders back and let's all go at this pace exhale bring the palms together namaskara inhale arms up arch back exhale bend forward pressing the palms inhale right leg back hold the breath left leg back good exhale slowly down it's much more harder inhale lift the chest up to do slow controlled movements exhale lift the hips up inhale bring the right leg forward exhale left leg forward inhale reach towards the front and arch back exhale namaskara inhale release samasthiti hi continue exhale slowing down the breath inhale and the movement exhale inhale left reducing the pause between each posture retain right transitioning with grace exhale down inhale chest up exhale hips up inhale left leg forward this time exhale right leg inhale arch back exhale namaskar inhale samasthiti last round exhale namaskar inhale hasta uttana exhale pada hasta inhale right ashva sanchalana retain dandasana exhale ashtanga inhale bhujanga exhale parvata inhale right ashva exhale left pada hasta inhale hasta uttana exhale namaskara inhale samasthiti last side exhale namaskar inhale arch back exhale going down inhale left leg retain right leg exhale 
slowly going down inhale chest up exhale hips up inhale left leg forward exhale right leg forward inhale reach towards the front and arch back exhale namaskara inhale samastiti stay in samastiti close your eyes and let's all take five deep breaths now before we continue inhale deeply bringing back control to your breath and using every exhalation to relax your body inhale deeply exhale completely to inhale and exhale three inhale making every breath count exhale re-energizing yourself with every inhalation and relaxing your body with every exhalation once you're done with five breaths let's continue with ashtanga b surya namaskara from the front of the mat feet together starting with inhale sink the hips down touch the fingertips down if you can that shows you the level you have to sink down and then raise the hands up utkatasana exhale bend forward completely uttanasana inhale look forward ardha uttana let's all hold the breath step or jump back to dandasana so that you can exhale go down to chaturanga or ardha chaturanga inhale slide forward to urdhva mukha svanasana exhale adho mukha svanasana inhale bring the right leg forward and raise the hands up to veera bhadrasana once again i want all of you to hold the breath take the hands down take the leg back so that you can go down with an exhalation to chaturanga inhale urdhva mukha exhale adho mukha if holding the breath is challenging you can breathe it's fine inhale left leg forward hands up to veera bhadra hold the breath if you can take the hands down leg back and exhale down to chaturanga inhale urdhva mukha exhale adho mukha and stay three deep breaths before we continue inhale deeply using this as a break exhale completely listening to your own ujjayi one inhale deeply exhale completely we are in adho mukha niraja inhale and exhale hold the breath once again step or hop towards the front inhale look forward ardha uttana very good guys exhale completely uttanasana inhale utkatasana exhale samastiti second round we are going to do two more rounds inhale utkatasana the same flow exhale uttanasana inhale look forward ardha uttana hold the breath walk or jump back to dandasana exhale chaturanga good inhale urdhva mukha exhale adho mukha inhale right leg forward veera bhadrasana hands down leg back slowly go down to chaturanga inhale urdhva mukha exhale adho mukha good inhale left leg forward veera bhadra hands down leg back slowly down to chaturanga inhale urdhva mukha 
एक्सहेल अधो मुका वेरी नाइस थ्री डीप उज्जयी ब्रेथ वंस यू मेड ऑल दी एडजस्टमेंट इन अधो मुका स्टार्ट ब्रीदिंग स्लोली इनहेल डीपली लिसनिंग टू द साउंड एक्सहेल कंप्लीटली विथ अ स्लाइट कंस्ट्रिक्शन इन योर थ्रोट वन इनहेल ऑब्जर्व द स्टमक मूविंग आउट Exhale. Observe the stomach moving in. One more deep breath in, and exhale. Once you exhale, hold the breath. Hop or step towards the front. Inhale. Look forward. Ardha uttana. Exhale. Bend forward completely. Uttana. Yes, we are in uttana. Suniti. Inhale. Now we are going to utkatasana. Exhale. Samastiti. Good. Last round. Inhale. Utkatasana. Exhale. Utthanasana. Okay, Nandini. That's fine. Inhale. Ardha uttana. Hold the breath. Jump or walk back and exhale. Chaturanga or ardha. Inhale. Urdhva mukha. Very nice, guys. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale, right leg, Veera Bhadra. Hands down, leg back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale, left leg forward, Ashwa. Veera Bhadra. Hands down, leg back. To Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha, and stay. Three deep breaths before we continue. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. One. Inhale deeply. And exhale, trying to slow down the breath. Inhale. and exhale look forward to where you're going to step or hop towards the front inhale ardha uttana exhale utthana inhale utkatasana exhale samastiti good turn towards the screen feet apart hands apart close your eyes and just take a small break here let's all take a small break closing your eyes helps you to turn your attention inward to observe what's happening within your body after all this practice feel the difference in your body temperature feel the difference in your heart rate feel the difference in how open your body feels continue to breathe noticing all of these changes in your body three more deep breaths inhale deeply exhale completely inhale exhale inhale and exhale so just watch what how we are going to start the next sequence we are going to start from utkatasana and we are going to slowly roll on our back get that full massage for the spine and then come back to an utkatasana okay we try to do this as slowly and as controlled as you can it's slightly more easier to do it faster so you choose your pace we are rocking back and forth and coming back to utkatasana all right we are going to do this five times yes 
So if you need a little bit momentum, you can use that momentum to come back to a standing position. Okay. Let's all start from Utkatasana and then slowly lower yourself down, roll on your back, lift the lower back also up, use that momentum and then come back to Utkatasana. Good. Yes. Very good. Arunima. Let's continue. Four more. Slowly lower yourself down. Use the momentum that you need to and then come back to Utkatasana. This is two. Three more like this. Roll back. Use that momentum. Come back to Utkatasana. That is three. Last two. Roll back. Lift the lower back up. Come back to Utkatasana. Very nice, guys. Slowly. Last one. Roll on your back. Lift the lower back up. Build that momentum and come back to Utkatasana and hold. Now we are all back in Utkatasana. Stay. Five. Good. Four, three, two, one. Bring, stay in Utkatasana. Bring the palms together in Namaskara. Parivritta Utkatasana. Bring the elbows outside the right knee and twist looking towards the right side. Five. And the palms remain in the center of your chest. Four. Good. Three. Stay here. Two. Listen very carefully. And one. Slowly take the left leg back to a wide stance. If you can. Good. Without the support of the hands. If you need to support and then come back, that's also fine. Good. Very nice. Five. Continue. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly lower the left knee down. Point the toes towards the back. Release the twist and sink the hips down. Now use that. Bring the hands down and see if you can take the knee a little more back. As back as you can. Keeping the front leg as it is. Okay. Once you've made this adjustment, inhale and come back to the center. We are going to do some dynamic movements. Inhale, raise the hands up and arch back. Exhale, straighten the right leg and bend forward, bringing the right knee to the forehead. Continue. Inhale, arch back to Anjaneyasana. Exhale, bend forward in Ardha Hanumana, pointing the right toes towards the face. Two. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, forehead to the knee. Three. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, bend forward. Four. Last one. Inhale, arch back. And this time, hold Anjaneyasana. Five. Four. Three. Nice. Two. And one. Stay in Anjaneyasana. Slowly turn your chest towards the right side. And if you can, hold your left leg wherever you can reach. I myself can reach only my thigh and continue extending towards the back. So you're adding a twist to this backward bend. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly come back to the center. Place the palms down, tuck the left toe, lift the left knee off the mat and take the right leg back to Adho Mukashwanasana. Stay here for three deep breaths before we continue. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. One. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Two. Inhale. And exhale. Look towards the front, step or jump towards the front and directly come to Utkatasana. Sink the hips down, raise the hands up and stay. Five. We are still in Utkatasana. Good. Four. Three. Sink the hips a little more down, everybody, so that it's challenging a little bit more beyond our own comfort zone. Two. Last one. And twist. Now twist towards the left side, bringing the right elbow 
outside the left knee parivritta utkatasana 5 good 4 3 2 now without using your hand see if you can take the right leg back to a wide stance very nice if you need to support the hands and go back that's also fine good 5 Four. So, Niti, take the leg a little more back, the right leg, little more back. Take a wider lunge. Yes, and lift the back heel off the mat. Three. Good. Yes, it's okay to support with the hands. Two. And one. Inhale. Come back to the center and gently place the right knee down. Place the right knee down and see how much you can take the right knee towards the back. See if you can inch it a little more towards the back. and then let's start with this dynamic anjaneyasana and ardha hanuman asana inhale arch back lifting the hands up exhale straightening the left knee bringing the forehead to the knee one good inhale arch back exhale forehead to the knee left toes pointed towards the face two inhale arch back exhale forehead to the knee three inhale arch back exhale forehead to the knee good good shifali good niraja inhale arch back last one exhale down inhale anjaneyasana and hold five four now that your body has warmed up see how much more deeper you can go within this asana three two and one turn your chest towards the left side hold your right thigh with the left hand adding a twist to this backward bend five good four Three. Some of you can hold the ankle like Dina. Very nice. Two and one. Good. Slowly come back to the center. Tuck the right toe. Lift the right knee off the mat and take the left leg back to Adhom. Three deep breaths before we continue with the next sequence. If you need to take a break, slowly lower your knees down and relax in child's pose. or else continue in adho mukha shwanasana intuitively listen to your body whatever your body asks you to do whether you need a break or if you can relax in adho mukha continue three more deep breaths inhale deeply is your shoulder okay arunima exhale completely okay inhale and exhale If you are in child's pose, allow the body to completely relax, using every breath to re-energize. If you are in Adho Mukha, feel the stretch and notice your body opening up with each breath. All right, everybody, back to Adho Mukha Shwanasana, and with the next inhale, bring the right leg forward. outside the right palm left knee off the mat pull the left knee cap in and make the left leg straight now slowly extend your right hand towards the front and stay five spread the fingers widely and check if your leg and hands are in one line good four only the right hand okay three Two. Now let's take it to the next level. See if you can extend the left hand as well. Now, if this is too challenging, you can continue to place the left hand down. If you can extend both the hands towards the front. Five, four. I know it's quite challenging. Good, very good, Neeraja. Good, Kavita. Three. Good, Mallika. Even if it's for a second. Good, Arunima. Two. Very nice, guys. And one. Slowly lower both the hands down. 
now take the right hand inside inside the right leg and place it next to your right foot if you have a doubt look at what i am doing uh take it outside the right leg now slowly try to lift the right leg off the mat and point the right toes towards the back as much as your body allows yes 5 Four, good. Three. We are trying to lift the right leg off and try to point the left, right toes towards the back. And one, good. Slowly release the right leg. Take the right hand back in. Press the palms down. Right leg back to Adho Mukha. Three deep breaths. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. One. inhale deeply exhale completely two one more deep breath in and out With the next inhale bring the left leg outside the left palm and we will start by extending the left hand towards the front spread the fingers getting your body ready good five yes pull the right knee cap in make the right leg straight sarita yes good four three neeraj also make the right leg straight two now try extending both the hands towards the front very nice five engage your core yes it's quite challenging three lift the chest a little more up mallika two Yes good look in between the palms everyone and one slowly lower the palms down now take the left hand from the inside of the behind the left knee it's almost like you're trying to wrap the left leg around the shoulder press the palm down and try to lift the left leg off the mat and point the left toes towards the back good yes very nice arunima good veena Good, Neeraja. Keep trying. You are very close. Five. Good. Four. Three. Veena, see if you can lift the back leg also off. Two. Yes, Arunima. Very nice. Two. And one. Slowly release. Take the leg back to Adho Mukha Swanasan. Once again, five deep breaths now. Choose. either child pose or continue to feel that openness in adho mukha or relax in child pose but make every breath count inhale deeply without compromising on your breath exhale completely one inhale deeply exhale completely three more deep breaths in listening to your own ujjayi both in child pose and in downward facing dog exhale two more inhale and exhale last one inhale deeply exhale completely Everybody come back to downward facing dog and with the next inhale bring the right leg towards the front let the back heel stay lifted off inhale and come up to warrior 1 in this variation we are sinking the hips down lifting the back heel off the mat and just for a moment take a look at the screen we are going to do some dynamic movements inhale warrior 1 exhale we are going to warrior 3 inhale slowly landing back to warrior 1 exhale balancing on the right leg in warrior 3 inhale warrior 1 okay let's continue exhale warrior 3 inhale warrior 1 very good guys 
exhale warrior 3 last one inhale warrior 1 and hold 5 stay in warrior 1 everyone 4 good 3 even if this uh, flow is uh, challenging you can come to warrior 1 2 good sink the hips a little more down make it challenging good and 1 go to warrior 3 Now if you need to take the fingertip support that's fine. You can bring the hands down but focus more on maintaining the alignment of the back leg. Good. 5. Yes. Arunima see if you can extend your hands towards the front. Take it. Okay. That's okay Shifali. And anyway this is our last uh, challenging sequence we are going to cool down now so you can feel free to stay. Rest of you very good and slowly bring the hands down bring the leg down take the right leg back to adho mukha svanasana three deep breaths before we do the other side inhale deeply so we are just going to do the left side and then we'll start our cool down okay shifali you can relax inhale deeply exhale completely one more inhale and exhale let's go this is our last challenging sequence inhale bring the left leg towards the front and come to warrior 1 we are going to stay here for five counts yes take the chest a little more back pinky so that your weight is equally distributed between the front leg and the back leg four yes mallika sing the hips a little more down four very good neeraja but straighten the back leg good three good rest of you very good two now we are going to start with these dynamic movements and one go to warrior three extend the hands towards the front balancing on the left leg inhale come back to warrior one good this is one four more like this exhale warrior three good inhale warrior one good three more exhale warrior 3 it's okay even if you can't move with the breath inhale i'm just instructing even if you need to take two three breaths that's fine warrior 3 so don't worry about the breathing because this is quite challenging warrior 1 good last one warrior 3 and hold this 5 good 4 let's hold 3 2 and 1 very nice slowly lower the leg down bring the palms down take the left leg back to adho mukha svanasana and now let's all bring our knees down separate the knees as wide as the mat place the hips down let the buttocks touch the heels place your forehead down extend your hands towards the front close your eyes and start allowing your body to completely relax starting from your abdominal muscles and your thigh muscles moving to all the muscles that you engaged the ankles the calf muscles use every exhalation to relax your body inhale slowly sit up you can join us shifali okay we are starting from vajrasana slowly start extending the left leg towards the front the right leg remains in the same position but we are not sitting on the heel you are sitting down 
and the right leg is pointed towards the back good now if this is too challenging you can bend the knee towards the side like in janu shirshasana position if you can you point the knees towards the front good bend the left leg and grip the sole of your feet interlock your fingers and hold the sole of your feet and with the next inhale slowly start straightening the left leg as much as you can now some of you are really flexible and can easily straighten the leg if you have to bend the knee a little bit that's fine i myself see i have to bend the knee a little bit. that's fine and with the next exhalation bring the forehead as close as you can to the left knee 5 4 3 2 Good Shivali. Three. It's okay to bend the knee, Sandhya. Yeah. Two. If you can straighten, make sure that the left toes are actively pointed towards the face. And one. Good. Now the same leg. Hold your left leg with the right hand from the outside. So hold the outer edge of the foot, of the left leg. and slowly extend the left hand towards the back twisting towards your left side in this also you can keep the knee bent or if you can straighten the knee in this it's much more easier to straighten the knee point the left toes towards the face twisted crown chasana 5 4 so even the back extended hands are active fingers are spread 3 2 and one slowly bend the left knee and release the posture release the right leg this has been very intense for the right knee as well so just take a moment here feet apart and look at your right knee and just pull the right knee cap in and then release two more times you pull the right knee cap in engage the right knee and then release relax pull only the right knee cap and relax now let's continue on the left side left knee pointed towards the front toes pointed towards the back bend the right leg and take a grip of the right sole of your feet and slowly start straightening the right knee as much as you can pointing the right toes towards the face and with the next exhalation bring the forehead to the knee five very good we now four three good kavita two It's okay to bend the knee. Are you okay, Pinky? And one. Now change the grip. Hold the right foot with the left hand. Hold the outer edge of the foot with the left hand. Extend the right hand towards the back. Spread the fingers. And if you can, look at your own thumb finger. Good. Five. Very nice. Four. Everybody is doing it beautifully. Three. Two and one. Slowly come back to the center and release both the legs now. Feet apart. Take a look at your own left knee. Pull the left knee cap in, engage it, and release. It's also helpful to gently place your hands on the knee. Pull the left knee cap and release. only the left knee pulled in and release okay lie down on your back for our last asana for today we are going to start with setu bandhasana and slowly progress to urdhva dhanurasana and we will go stage by stage i encourage all of you to stay in the stage that's comfortable for you not too challenging at the same time we are trying to go beyond our comfort zone okay so you choose how deep you go into your own practice starting with setu bandhasana if you can hold your ankles 
make it a nice grip like how you would hold a glass thumb going over the ankles good bring the buttocks close uh, to the heels good and with the next inhale slowly lift the hips up chest up bringing the chest close to the chin and stay let's try to make this a meditative practice by closing the eyes and becoming aware of the abdominal movements that's going up and down five four three Two, and one. Slowly release the grip and slowly lower the hips down. Now moving on to the next stage, Urdhva Dhanurasana. If Urdhva Dhanurasana is too challenging for you, we can still try try the initial stage where we are just placing the crown of the head on the mat. So let's all do that first, and then we we'll lift off. Okay. So place your palms next to your ears, elbows close and parallel to each other. Yes. And with the next inhale, we are only placing the crown of the head on the mat. Okay. Even if you can do a full one, you are only placing the crown and stay five. Yes. Only the crown, just to get used to this position. Four. Three, getting ready to go fully up, and one. Now go fully up, or you stay in the same position. Yeah, it's okay, Pinky. Thank you for joining us. Five. Rest of you stay. Good. Four. Very good. Three. Now, whichever position you are in, try raising the heels up, becoming a little more taller. Good. Five. Good. Four. Walk the hands a little more back, Veena. Very nice. Three, Arunima also can walk the hands a little more back. Good. Two, very nice, beautiful practice, all of you. It's okay, Malika. If you got a catch, relax. And one, slowly bring the heels down first, and then slowly bring the hips down, shoulders down. Hug your knees close to your chest. Wrap the hands around the knees. Bring the forehead to the knee. close your eyes become like a compact ball and continue breathing with every exhalation see if you can become a little more compact five letting go of everything else happening around you you just becoming a compact ball within yourself three two hug a little more tighter last squeeze and one release the hands slowly drop the knees towards the right side and look towards your left side enjoying this supine twist close your eyes and observe your breath slowing it down and noticing how open your body feels five four three two slowly come back to the center knees towards the left side looking towards your right side enjoying this relaxed supine twist bye
so. and one slowly come back to the center and turn your entire body towards your right side make a pillow with your right hand you can either place the left hand on your stomach or in between your legs. Become a little more compact. Bring the knees closer towards your chest. Like you're curled up. Like a small child sleeping. Enjoying this relaxed posture. Letting go of all your thoughts and enjoying this well-deserved break. Your body is relaxed. Your mind is relaxed. Just enjoy every breath. Very slowly, using the support of your hands, slowly come up to a sitting position, sitting with your spine straight. Now we have arrived at the most challenging asana, sitting absolutely still. Choose any mudra that you intuitively feel like doing. Make any other final adjustments that you feel like doing. Do it now. Close your eyes and set an intention to stay absolutely still with your body and absolutely still with your mind, completely focused on your breath for the next one minute. Let your eyes remain close. Bring your palms together to your heart center in Namaskar. Let's conclude with three soft and gentle Omkaras. Let's all chant together. Take a deep breath in. Oh. 
chin slightly pointed down. Taking a moment here to feel gratitude for each and everything that we have in our lives. Thinking of all the people who have made a difference in our lives. All the things and luxuries that we enjoy. All the journeys and situations we have been through in order to reach this point in our life. Acknowledging that everything is connected and everything happens for a reason. And with this sense of peace and gratitude, gently open your eyes. Namaste.